Marketing. I know you guys have at UWF a Cyber Ambassador program. Talk to us a little bit about that. Okay, so Cyber Ambassadors run out of the this, this center. Mr. Guy Garrett runs that. But it's been going on for a while. So what that is is we have two or three students that if uh, middle school or high schools ask them, they'll come to like a class or an assembly and talk about cyber, talk about cyber awareness, but also do things like they'll show them how you hack a cell phone. They'll have a, a cell phone set up with a computer and, they, and they'll kind of demonstrate some of the things you can do to hack the phone or to hack a website. They even get some of the kids involved in, in teaching them and it's an active program. Um, so if any, any high schools or middle schools are interested, they can contact Center for Cybersecurity and see if they can set that up. Yeah, and and those are usually our students, those are my students or our students from the club and stuff that have this extra role. They get paid a little for it, depending on their hours as well. Yeah, that's exciting. And uh, I love that you shared how they get involved as well, like how uh, 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 an educational program or someone would get involved in this educational program with you guys yeah, sure. at UWF. Cyber Patriot, tell us about that. Okay, so Cyber Patriots, a national, semi-international um, competition learning format. It's run by the Air Force Association, but they had like a huge grant from like Northrop Grumman, like, and so it's, I think, the last time I looked, there was like 3,500 teams involved, and so what it is, it's a defense competition for high school and middle school kids, where. There's several layers of the competition. There's like a couple of qualification rounds, and then there's a state round, like a regional or semifinals, and a national round. And so the teams of four or five, from, and there's usually can be up to five for each school, they get uh, images of either computers or, or servers, and they have to secure them, and they get points. Every time they do something to this image that makes it better, like change the password complexity or set up a firewall, they get points and they compete nationally and um, the top teams get to go to Washington, the top 12 teams get to go to Washington for a national competition. But it's a lot more about education too because there's training modules and stuff like that. So we have a team, a, a Pine Forest High School has had a team since, or has team since 2014, and I've been their technical mentor. So they have a coach that's a faculty member, but then you have a technical mentor or two that goes and helps the kids, teaches them different things. Um, and so what we've done is, on the day of the competition, which is usually a Friday, they come to UWF and they get to use one of our labs to actually set the images up and do the competition rather than do it at Pine Forest. So it's like a field trip. Um, we've also had the ROTC team from Gulf Breeze come out. A couple years ago we had two teams from Catholic. We also had a team come out a couple of times, a middle school team from Bellevue Middle because they have a cyber academy there as well. And so the kids get to come to the university and compete and see what it's like to be at a university. and buy food at the snack bar and just have a good time. Yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. Now I notice a lot of the programs that you mentioned, um, the students would have to be enrolled in a program with the high school or the middle school in order to participate. Is that the same with Gen Cyber uh, in no. the summer camp? No, Gen Cyber, the way that works is um, if we get the grant, which we've gotten them just about every year, we'll put out feeler or we'll put out advertisements online but also like send it to the schools, IT departments or the workforce development at Scambia County or Santa Rosa and let them know, hey, this is what's going on, here's how you register, go online, register and we'll fill up the camps with I think 35 each week. So anybody, they don't have to be a part of any program or anything, we'll just, you know, depending on how many kids we get, We'll select them and they get to come. Okay, and what's the age group for Gen Cyber? Well, it's either middle school or high school. So you usually pick one or the other. Like middle school is usually rising sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, and high school is usually rising ninth through twelfth. Wow, amazing.